there. You can put people there, or you can do this. Put there in the group. <coughs> there we go. Yay! We there? You're there. Anybody hear Looks anything? Looks like we're on. Hello? No. Oh no. I don't know if this cannot play video. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, that's weird. Can I play video? What's that? I just yeah. lost everything just there. Yeah, do a refresh. Because I can hear it online. I just lost Facebook altogether. Yeah, you gotta pretty much drop Facebook over. Okay, there we go. All right, folks, like we'll give yes. you a second to. Yeah. We'll give Check you a yes. Yes, because we're taking it for granted problem. that it takes you as long as it takes Daddy us. Is watching. Ah, cool. ah, ah, Good to have you guys. Now, why can't I get all those? Not on yet? No. Yeah, Joyce is on. Good morning. Good morning, Joyce. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, do a, do a refresher, guys. Because we are we are apparently on. Yes, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, hey, so good going. morning. Hey, hey, good morning, Joel. Guess what time it is? What time is it, Keith? It is time for Smack and Jack Live once again here from hey. sunny, well, a little cloudy Chester County in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania. And we got a jam-packed show. We, we got a couple of guests, returning guests. Uh, so far, we've only had one guest, and they're coming back because they loved it so much last time. Right. Set of guests. Um, and we got a bunch of stuff. So grab your coffee, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. We'll be back in a minute. All right, here we go. The Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Wonderman. Dude. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so we're doing a little, little bit different um, this morning because I'm streaming from my personal web page. Okay. Um, streaming from my personal web page, um, and then I'm sharing it with your page, with our Smack and Jack home page, uh, with Brad and Linda's. Um, so if you need to try to do a refresher, because I know our audience members, our live audience is having trouble getting on, but yes. it looks like we Barbara's have, on. Yeah, she says yep. we're on. Joyce so, is on. Uh, yep. Barbara's here. Terry is uh, here. Ah. Teresa, yep, yep. Linda's, yep. Okay, Linda. now we're slowly getting everybody Yay. on board. Awesome. Great. So Thanks uh, for joining us today. Yeah. Uh, well, let's start with announcements. What do we got? We got a whole bunch of stuff. We got announcements, joke. We got a website update. We took some pictures the other day. I yep. tell you, we are pretty good looking dudes when we're out <laughs> in the field. Uh, Every now and then, we're, yes. we can dress ourselves up. We got some up, facts right? of the day. We got some questions, Q&A that uh, has to do with our guests, and the ever-popular birthday minute. Yep. So, the announcements. The first announcements, ladies and gentlemen, Smack and Jack, me, I have a new car. Yay! Bravo, round of applause. Oh, no, our audience. Uh, audience. Yeah, my Linda, dear friend, right? Themis. You're going to have to clap louder over there. All right. Uh, if you don't remember, I had an accident a little while ago. I had a brand new vehicle that lasted me 11 hours. And that's going to come up in the next couple of weeks because we have the video of that actual thing happening. Yeah. And Joel's going to set that up for us. But I don't have it just yet. But uh, I finally got rid of the rental. And I got a new uh, a new car, 1998. Yeah, brand Nissan new 20-year-old car, right? Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it is a nice, fine ride. So, there we go. Thank you, Famous, and I'll be back on the road. Audience a little bit late to the uh, yes. to the studio <laughs> today. <laughs> and I need to uh, I need to turn off my automatic shutdown on my phone so that our um, our audience is always on. So go to display, display. And then go to um, auto lock, and then put it on never, and that way your phone never goes off. Right? Ah. So that's what we do here. See that? Okay. And then that ah. way we can keep our audience. Our uh, audience never goes out for a att break. Attentive. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. So there we go. There we go. Yes. All right. Very good. Well, so that was one little glitch that I forgot to do today. Okay. Let's talk about. Oh, one um, more thing. One more yeah, thing. Okay, um, you notice I'm not using a straw today. Ooh, Keith oh, is wow. growing up. Yep, no straw on my coffee. Wow. Right. Yeah. Uh, Bravo. Behind the scenes, I get a flack from it all, all uh, uh, every week from my brother here. So, yeah, look, I'm going strawless. I'm using your sippy cup. And you know what? I think we're getting rid of straws on the planet because apparently they're filling up the oceans and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, good. Pretty soon the oceans will be just be First, stra Starbucks straws. insults yeah. half of the American population. And then they say we're not going to give you straws right. and salts the other half. Amazing. So. Unless they learn how to make them out That's of bamboo straws. That's my political uh, bamboo straws. 
Oh, yeah. Actually, I, I saw I something. They were yeah, using yeah, pasta yeah. straws. Ah, and it was. I don't know where go. it was, but they all these kids drinking out of these different colored pasta straws. There you and go. It's gonna be disgusting. Don't they have yeah. to get? I would soggy? say it's um, not appealing to me. Anyway. Okay. So. So, okay. Moving along. Don't forget magnets. We are down to I think the last magnet. And sticker on the planet, actually, right here. <laughs> right. Um, so we're gonna need, need to order some more, and then our stickers. Can you hold yep. that up just a little uh, bit more? Yeah. There you go. Yep. <clears throat> so stickers. Let us know if you want some stickers. High we quality have, too. The magnets yeah. are good. They'll hold up to rain and uh, yeah. And sticker, weather. Yeah. So uh, let us know about that. What else? No show next week, folks. Sorry. Uh, somebody's I'm got his second right. vacation of the summer. Yeah. Hopefully this yeah. one won't be canceled. <laughs> Hopefully I'll take a vacation this summer. <laughs> All right. And then we have special guests. Yes, we do. Yay, special guests. We'll we're, introduce them in a minute. Yeah, we're going to call them up in just a minute for the uh, for the jokes of the day. Yeah. So shall we? Um, speaking of jokes of the day, I guess we should probably get into. Shall we it. move we on ready? to the yeah. jokes? All right, ladies and gentlemen, my sister, our sister, Linda, Linda. And our brother-in-law, Brad. Lyndon Brad. Come on Yay. up, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Hi, hi. Glad to be back. Good to see everybody today. Yeah, nice yep. to see you guys. Thanks for coming down from yeah. Lidditz. Making that long Lidditz. track. Yes. Long ride. They get up at like 4 in the morning just yeah, to be here. Easily. <laughs> well, you got up at 3 because you had to run for oh, an that's hour, right? right? Yeah. Had to run for yes. three hours. Did you even go to bed? You just stayed up. You pulled an all-nighter, right? Yeah. Yeah. All-nighter. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um... Shall we get into the jokes? Yes. Yeah, sure. I'm just making sure we still have. I'm going to step out of the screen. I'm going to step yeah, out of the screen. Yeah, I think we'll do that so uh, Linda so Bright can get in. So you guys can step up so you can see him a little bit more. Okay, and, go ahead. Uh, we'll be your audience. Go ahead. What did the cucumber say to the vinegar? I don't know. What did he say? <laughs> well, this is a fine cooking you've gotten us into. Pickle. The <laughs> pickle. word's pickle. <laughs> Messed that one up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the punchline one more time. Well, this is a fine pickle you've gotten us into. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Why was the mushroom the hit of the party? I don't know. Because he was a fun guy. Oh! 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 <laughs> that was funny. Right, can you get my hands? That's there we go. good stuff there. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a cow with an earthquake? What? I don't know. Milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did the vegetable feel after it was cooked? It was steamed. Oh! oh. Yeah. oh. 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 Very oh. good. Very good. Bravo. 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 All right. Is that it? Is that it? Yep. That's it. Yay, good joke. Okay. Thanks, All right, guys. thanks, guys, yeah. for stopping in. We'll, we'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll talk to them again in a minute. Thanks for doing our jokes. Because we are not done with them yet. Sure. All right, now. So apparently right now I'm pulling a solo show because everybody just disappeared. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I, I did put on my deodorant today. Yeah, and I yeah, showered we all, last no, week. We all did. <laughs> a lot of deodorant in here this morning. Okay. All right. So we're going to put our uh, joke book back on the warmer. All right. Very good. That was down great. here. Okay. Nice. What we got next yeah. here, Okay. Pete? Uh, yeah. Let's see what's going on with that website. Joe. All right. So we do have a website coming up here. Let me unplug this here. Um, we do have um, some updates on the website. So as Keith said, we have um, uh, we did a, a photo shoot. It was last Tuesday, I think at 8 o'clock in the morning, it was uh, 97 degrees. Yeah, it was pretty, by the time it we got warm. done, we had sweat running down, yes. uh, you know, whatever. So, so you had to Photoshop all that sweat out and that's all that right. stuff, yes. So this this is some of the pictures that we took. Here's yeah. our opening shot here. Yep. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you in, in just a minute how I got this picture to look like that. Um, and then uh, some of this other stuff you've seen before, I've updated some of the, the text here. Um, and I'm not quite sure, Linda, if this... Uh, when you subscribe for a VIP, if it actually goes anywhere or not, um, <laughs> I'll let yet. you know. This picture of Keith right here, I'd like to get that a little bit more centered, but I have to be honest in putting these pictures in here, it's been um, it's been anything but easy. Okay. You know, they give us the size and the dimensions of the pictures, but even even when I size them exactly the way they're supposed to be, they're they're not. It, it takes me forever. So either I'm doing something wrong, or there's a glitch or something. But so you can't slide that around in that. Well, hole. I n no. I have to go back and crop it and then upload it again. Okay. And it's, yeah. That's... That would be easier, and I hope that comes in an update okay. with this E stage. That would make things a lot easier. Um, okay. So then. It looks um, pretty good though. Yeah, it looks all right. And uh, see this one here. That's good. Um, let's move on to uh, the about page. All right. So, and I want to slide this picture here around too, 
uh, move it to the right so you see a little more view. Okay. Right? Uh, we yeah, kept right. that one in there. This one here, this is not the way it looked this morning when I edited it. So I'm going to have to go back and, and fix that there. Okay. All right. And our products page. Products page, I made real short. That's all you get right there. Okay. Uh, blog. So far. Yep, so far. Blog. Uh, let's see. Did I add something here? What did I, add? I added one more picture today. Where was it? Contact. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Yeah, right, right with the. Uh, where did I add you in there? I thought I had you somewhere in here. Maybe, maybe it didn't catch the update or something. Or, or maybe I didn't update. But that's that's our um, page so far. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the links have been hooked up and so forth. All right, so let me take you to how I created that first page. Um, so I needed to use a custom dimension over here. So I go over here. Uh, this is canva.com. We talked about Canva before. Uh, but this is a very practical use. And again, you can use this for anything. You can use this for your Facebook wall. Uh, Facebook posts. Uh, this is a free. Just go on to Canva.com and create your own account. Okay. And you can you just kind of fool around in there and, 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 and do your own thing, right? Yeah. So, um, and I need it to be 1920 by 600. Okay. And then I click design. All right. And there is my my guy right there. Okay. That's the size that I need. Now you knew that because it told you. Yes. What yeah. Size. Now even so, I had once I got into the eat stage there, I had, kind of had to resize it in there okay so then I go to my uploads here and here is <clears throat> here's that picture okay right and you're probably wondering well what the heck like how did that picture become so long right and it's only that big okay so let me go into my um, let's see if I can go to <clears throat> back to my own I'll show you how I do that all right, so let's go to here. All right, so here it is. And there's that picture right there, right? That's that's it. Yeah. So what I did was I went over here and I cropped. You can actually crop. See up here it says crop. Okay. And I cropped this little tiny bit over here. All right, and I brought it way over. Way over, come on. Oh, come on. All right, let's see if I can do it this way. I'll do it that way. Oops. Yeah, come on. Let me get this. There we go. Yeah, okay. All right, so I brought it way over there and I just cropped out that little bit. Okay. So I hit crop up here. And when I did that, <clears throat> I'm going to cancel that for now. When I did that, then I got all these little pieces. And that was it. And you just repeat it. And I just copied them. Copy, okay. copy, copy. Yeah. Right? And then the one thing I needed to do is line it up here. Now, the problem is, uh, let's see, this one, let's um, flip that. This is the way it originally came out, right? Okay. Okay, so that looks a little odd. You can tell it's completely fake. Right. Right, so I had to, what I had to do was take that and flip it that way. So now, yeah. all right, now it matches right up there, yeah. right? Yeah. Over here, same thing. Go backwards. I had to flip it again yep. to make it look like that, right? And then over here, I did the same thing. I flipped that one again, and over there, and I flipped it. Okay, this is a little bit rough. I'm not taking all the time that I had. And then I had this Smack and Jack logo in my file over here in my uploads. You know, I could put anything up here, right? I could, yeah. I could uh, scoot that one up there if I wanted to, but I don't like that, so I'm gonna delete that. Okay, and then I press download. And that brings us up to the picture that we got here. Wow. So, and, and again, canva.com is completely free. Yeah. You can go in there, you can set up your Facebook page. You, you may have noticed that our Facebook page, or my, my latest Facebook page, um, well, I want to say, has this picture, and it's a little bit longer. Okay. On there, that's the one I just posted the other day. Okay. Good. Okay. So yeah. that's all courtesy Great. of. Uh, Canva. Canva free stuff. Canva free stuff absolutely that, yeah. free, and I use Canva a lot um, for most of my posts that I put up. Most of the posts that I put up, I use Canva because you see Smack and Jack at the bottom. Yeah, um, and that's what I do. I put it into Canva first, and I customize it with Smack and Jack at the bottom. Okay, and then I send it out. Yeah. So yeah, yeah so there's good. our website yeah. update. A lot of the links are coming through now. Yeah. Once I get all that done, then I'm going to start promoting the website Smack okay. and Jack. Um, in, in all the other promotions that I've done have been for the 4% group. Right. Um, you know, their products and so forth. But I've decided that 
all the promotions that we do from now on are going to lead everybody right to the Smack and Jack website. Okay. And then they go to the products page from there. Okay. I mean, because that's we need to build our audience. Right. Yes. We need to build our name. Okay. Uh, and that's you know the way we're going to start doing it. Okay. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to. Hey, Debbie's on. Hey, Debs. Yo! Good morning What's up? from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. Say it on the day for Kristen. Hey, how are you? That's the first time for Kristen. Uh, see Brian. I see Brian on here. I also see his his twin brother Brad. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're seeing double here already. <laughs> All right. All right. What else is going? Uh, let me see. Facts, facts, of, the facts day. of the day. Let's yeah, get on to facts okay. of the day, folks. Um, so the facts of the day, as usual, this was maybe kind of our glitch. Uh, was not the um, the facts that I thought we were going to have today. So these are somewhat previewed, but not completely previewed. All right. Let's start here. Oh wait, wait. Do we have music on this one? Sorry. Oh, mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Let's go to uh, here. Uh, facts of the day, because we need a little music for this. Yeah, you go. Yeah, to make things right. kind of go on. What am I doing here? All right. Turn it up a little bit. He said turn it up. Oh, All oh, right. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, just a little All bit. All right, here it goes. Okay. St. Nicholas is a patron saint of penitent murderers. Wow. I guess wow. everybody needs it, right? Okay. Oh, look at that picture. Now, that's not Nick Fold. That's the original. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> The Netherlands paved the bike path with recycled toilet paper. Now, nice. Where did they get that recycled toilet paper? How do you recycle it? Because I know once it hits the water, it's kind of it disappears. And yeah. come on, did, were they selective? Yeah. Oh, man. Let's move on. Here. Yeah. Having a better social life can be worth as much as an additional 131,000 a year in terms of life satisfaction, according to a study. Not sure who did the yeah, study, let's, but let's you know. look farther into that. <laughs> On January first, two thousand eighteen, recreational marijuana became legal in California. <laughs> in the U.S., the death toll from guns is higher for kids ages zero to four than it is for an on-duty law enforcement officer. Wow! Wow! wow. Yeah. Thomas Edison invented the tattoo pen. Wow, well, that's kidding. interesting. Studies show that trauma victims who don't search for a reason for their misfortune turn out to be the most well-adjusted years later. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, they kind of cope with it. The eyes of the celestial eye goldfish are bigger than its stomach. Huh, how about that? Between 2007 and 16, only 4% of Hollywood directors were female, and 80% of those uh, got the chance to make only one film. Wow. Yeah, in 2017, US $10 made you a millionaire in Venezuela's local currency. Wow, we all moved there. Yeah, right. We're living large. French newspaper Charlie wow, Hebdo's uh, next issue after the 2015 shooting run almost 8 million copies in six languages compared to its typical print run of 60,000. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Carbon stocks and vegetation have a key role in the climate system. Humans are responsible for reducing it by 50%. Hmm. And last one, double stuffed Oreos are only stuffed 1.86 times more than regular are Oreos. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh. That is, yeah, or, where's or a we boo? Need a, boo. <laughs> oh. That is, that is just not right. All right, last thing, folks. We have a little trivia here. We got a few questions. This is our brand new first time trivia. You didn't even know we were doing this. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. I didn't. Who was the last queen of France prior to the French Revolution? Marie Antoinette. Sorry, oh. I didn't give you guys enough time. Sorry, guys. Come As You Are, a song by the grunge band Nirvana, released was released on which album? Uh, never mind. Uh, let's see if Keith gets it. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. All right. According to the ancient Roman religion, who was the god of the sea? Ah, uh, what is it, Barbara? I need it. I need a shout out, Barbara. Oh, Neptune. Oh, man. All right. Which U.S. state has the highest number of colleges and universities? Arizona. Think big state. California. California. Yeah, let's okay. see. California. California. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's see. The Punisher is a fictional character appear character appearing in comic books published by which company? Marvel. Marvel yep. Comics. Very good good Very good, job Brad. there, Brad. All right. Let's do one more. What common expression is used to refer to the horseshoe-shaped zone found along the Pacific Rim where approximately 90% of the world's earthquakes occur? Ring of fire. Ring of fire! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Is anybody else on fire like Brad here is? Or uh, our, 
studio audience? Well, let's do one more. I think more. he's I think he's primed for a sticker. <laughs> I think he's looking at this website. <laughs> or maybe he might even Sorry, be able to take that cap home. Yeah, we'll let him have it. Yeah. What is the name for the upper arm bone found in humans? It is humorous. Oh, oh talking about oh, humorous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of right here. All right, last one. Last one. <laughs> According to legend, Romulus and Ramus founded what city? Athena. I will say it begins, I think, with an R. Is I am I right? Ah, Rome. Rome. Hey. All right. Well, that was very fun. good. That was really fun for well, our very first. Yes, yeah, very good. And yes. it really helps having a studio audience. Yes, here, it man. does. One that's not like inside of a phone. <laughs> okay, so uh, and like I, you know, if we'd been doing this at a bar, we wouldn't have had to give away any beer. That's right. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Okay, so shall we move on okay, yes, to our, yeah. our guests? Uh, well, we got guests. Let's bring yeah. back Lynn and Brad, and, and we're we gonna have some uh, Q and A for them. We're gonna pan out on the camera yes. here. Yeah, let's let's move. Whoa, whoa! Which means moving the camera whoa. way back, so we can all kind of squeeze yeah. in here. Why don't you come in here to the center, folks? All right. So Hi. again, uh, step up a little bit. Yeah, come on, guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, so again, we have Linda and Brad Kreider, um, and the last time they were on, we didn't. We didn't even ask, you know, what they do um, for a living, for a living yes. in their careers and so forth. So uh, we, we did let them know we we're going to ask them a couple questions. So how about we begin with Linda? Linda, what do you do um, in your career? What's your career? I am a claims professional, um, claim representative. I handle uh, auto accidents, injury claims. For a big insurance company. Yay! Okay. Okay. Well, sounds good. good. An, an unidentified big insurance <laughs> yes. company, right? Yes. right. <laughs> Until we get advertising, uh, right. we're not going to say any. <laughs> it it is, yes. is the economy yes. insurance. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. And Brad, what do you do? I'm a truck driver. And what what do you typically what's typically in your load? We'll say. Uh, like right right now, I'm pulling a tanker of salt water. Okay. Believe it or not. To what? To I do a lot of. Uh, Drug companies, hospitals, it's for water softeners. So okay. Good. We have to put five to 10,000 gallon tanks outside the building. This way, if you're familiar with a water softener, you don't have to dump the salt into the softener itself. We already right. make the salt water. Right. Okay. So it just saves a step and saves money. Okay, good. And uh, happening, to, happening to have a water softener in our house, um, it is quite a hassle to put salt into that softener. Right. I mean, so imagine a big business like exactly to be like. I go to a beer company that's somewhat local, up in outside of Allentown. With the initials S and A. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 It's nothing to do yeah. with being uh, right New England or anything. No, right? no, no. no. <laughs> and they literally used last week. I was up there three times. They used fifteen thousand gallons of water of salt water. So wow. can you imagine having to dump all those bags. Yeah. Yeah. Into softeners, yes. that would be someone's full-time job. And gigantic softeners too. Yeah. You're not talking the little oh, yeah. ones that yeah. that are in houses, right? Yeah. Great. Cool. That's so, cool. um, so in the last year, two years, I, I guess, right? You, you both have really gotten into exercising. Um, you've been doing a lot of running. Right. You've been doing like weightlifting, kickboxing, all sorts of things. Uh, so you want to tell us, Linda? You know what started you? There, you know, when did you start really getting into your exercise routine? Um, probably about five or six, five or six years ago, I guess now. Just noticing things don't fit, clothes don't <laughs> fit, you know. So you think, start feeling to feel not really comfortable with yourself, and figure, hey, I got to do something to at least, you know, try to get, keep healthy, maintain mobility, be able to move around and you know as I get older to be able to do things lift things pretty you know things on my own so kind of what started it and so what's your time like when, when do you typically go to the gym well I try to do Wednesdays and Fridays at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Um, did you know that time <laughs> exists in no the I know I thought in it just stopped at up. 12 and started up again at 9 30 <laughs> <laughs> and then Mondays I've gotten brought into boxing we do Monday evenings at 5 30 um, and this is Wednesday. controlled boxing. Yeah. Yeah. Not like in We're not in a ring. Right. We, yeah. We, yeah. Uh, we do hit each other, but it's occasionally. You know, occasionally. Yeah. But you know, happened to Mr. Glover's company. 
cardio, yeah. boxing, exercising kind of combined. Yeah, mostly cardio. And then Wednesdays we go back at after I've worked out at 5 a.m. I also go back at 4:30. Wow. To do wow. a little bit more lit, weight training, strengthening, things like that for about an hour. It's more wow. cross. So. It's cross. More cross training. Yeah, kind of. And, and do you, are you feeling like better now? Oh, yeah. You, mm-hmm. Is it like? Yep, you feel stronger. I mean, you're able to more carry energy, that. Right? Yeah, more an- yeah. energy, and you're able to. You know, get up and do things without feeling like you're not out of breath after going to get the mail, right? No. Right. We're correct. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, Brad. How about you? What? Um, what? Why don't you take us back to maybe what happened in you know in your job and then? Well, I had fallen off my tanker and tore up my shoulder. I had shoulder shoulder surgery, tore my labrum and put a rip in my bicep. So I was basically laid up, not really laid up, but I couldn't work for almost eight months, and I put on a lot of weight more weight than I ever wanted to. Right, right. And then I saw Linda, what it was doing for her. Well, first I started running, and I thought, I got to do something, because I couldn't walk up the steps without literally, like, having to stop halfway up. Oh, okay. my gosh. Wow. Right, right. And I went up to 205 pounds, and I've never been that heavy. So I saw what it was doing for her as I started running. So I figured, I'm going to try this. She talked me into it. So I, <laughs> first time I went over, I was like, I'm never coming back to doing this again. <laughs> I was hurting the next day. I was, it, it killed me. And I thought, well, she can do it. Darn it. I'm not going <laughs> to. I got to try this again. Yes, right. So now I'm hooked. Now nice. I love doing it. And I get up. I try to run every day, anywhere from two to four miles a day. And I started doing 5Ks. And I lost 50 pounds. Yeah, I was going to say. So you're you're around 150. You were at right. what did you say? 205. 205. Now he's around 150. Wow. Um, amazing. That's and, great. And that is really good. Yep. Whoop. Why did that just... Good. <laughs> Very good. And regularly wow. running 5Ks. Both of you, right? Right. Pretty yep. much. So now, how, when did this start? When did you have your accident? It was November... It would be two years ago this yeah. November. Okay, yeah. so in two years you've come this far. That's that's Actually, pretty impressive. I started running and working out last month, not this Memorial Day, but the Memorial Day weekend before that. Okay. That's yeah. the first time I tried to run a mile, and I think I made it half a block. I thought, I'm going to die. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's great. That's so a little over great. a year, I lost 50 okay. pounds. Yeah. So, so to kind of dovetail in there, so um, – my wife Stephanie has been doing a lot of yoga and all that stuff, Pilates, and she's been doing a lot of working out for you know a few years now. Um, so I wanted to start something, uh, but I you know I was like you know what I got to start running, got to start running, and then you guys started all your running, all that. So back um, what was it like October, October. right? Mm-hmm. We decided to do that hot chocolate five mile yeah. or five k run. Um, that was in March. Um, in Philly, in, in, in Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Yeah. right. So, um, so I started in October, and I, you know, I started running a little bit, and then I had to walk, run, walk, run, walk. Where, you know, now I'm up to about three miles that I can run pretty much non, well, nonstop because I never stop when I'm running. <coughs> um, and that's really because of the two of you and my wife, of course, encouraging me, and then just, um, you know, setting that goal, having that goal of running a 5K. Right. And that kind of goes mm-hmm. back to the conversations we have often about, you know, goal setting and, mm-hmm. and, and having other people help you. Um, typically, you can't achieve a whole lot with, without other people helping you. Right, right. Um, so, Give you something to work for. So, um, so I went ahead and run that. And I will say, um, I, over the course of this year, I had one minor cold. Yep. I didn't yeah. have a cold. I mean, in my school, you know, elementary school of uh, about 800 kids, we had, uh, you know, throughout the course of the year, there were, there were months where uh, stomach bug, right. like running rampant. Um, you know, that didn't bother me. The flu, we had kids out for flu, um, nothing. Wow. So, mm-hmm. it, and every time I felt a little bit sad, I better get out there and run again. Yep. And um, and I'm pretty sure that the, the, the research has proven that, you know, keep exercise, healthy, yeah. keep yeah. exercising, yeah. and we, that's going to help your... We talked yeah. about that, too. It's like... Well, Ever since we started doing this, I've not had, like you said, had one minor cold where I was like, I thought, then I thought the same thing. I'm just going to run my way out of it. And sure enough, you know, within a day, I was better. Yeah. Wow. But no, this is the, probably the first time in now, 15 years I have not gotten the flu over the winter. Right. Wow. Well, that's right. great. So, um, so thank you for sharing yeah, all very that good. with yeah, us. That's I, great. I think it's important to know that exercise, you can start at any point in your life. Um, and it, yeah, fine, and, yeah. and you have to start. Um there has to be a starting point. Right. You, you can't run five miles right. the very first time. 
uh, you know, start out a little bit at a time, walk a little bit further, you know, run a little bit further, go to the next mailbox, you know. Right, yes. Yep. Get on your phone and get a Couch to 5K app. Uh, couch and, to 5K, right. All right. Yeah. And, and what's the one you use? Is it Strava? I use Strava just to Strava? measure yeah. my, my distance and time. Again, there's, there's free. plenty of um, apps that will help coach you from, yeah, Couch to 5K is a good one. There was another one that I used. You run a couple minutes, you walk. You run, you walk, and then if you build yourself up eventually to doing... Five, you know the five k. It takes yeah. five, six, seven weeks or so. I forget how. It was okay. three times a week for. And then you, you know, the thir first three days you're doing the same thing. You're running and you think I'm never going to be able to do this. And then towards the end, you've, you know, done a mile. Like wow, you know. Yeah. So it definitely that that was a big help. To the me. point where you get and you look at your phone you're like one point nine. No, I'm yeah. going to get. I'm going to get to two miles <laughs> yeah. today. Right. Exactly. right? Yep. So you run just a little bit further to make sure you get that, that two miles in. So uh, wow, that's great. Cool. Good. Cool. Very Thanks, good. guys. Right. Yep. Okay. Yep. Shall we? Thanks uh, very much. Okay. Yeah, let's wrap it up, guys. We're going to do Okay. We're going to do a ring Yeah. We're going to go into the birthday minute. Right. Stand in the back. And, uh, All right. right. We're going to bring the camera back up a little bit here. All right. So so our final. Let's everybody do the birthday minute. Go ahead. You guys yeah. Our final. Let's bring you in here. Do you have a hat there, Keith? Oh, goodness sakes. Yeah, man. This is, are we going to do the intro or not? Yeah, we are, but we have to get ready for yeah, the intro. Yeah. How about use green today? I'm going to use the same red one that I used last. No, oh, I don't think I'm... Oh, yeah. A little bit more unscripted this week <laughs> than normal. <laughs> yeah. Can you Art. believe sometimes we don't have things all ready to go? <laughs> Here's our shot. Okay, so, okay. So it looks like, yep, yeah, let's get into the birthday minute. Uh, let's make sure we have volume here because, uh, you know... Do we have volume? Do volume, we have volume? volume? Okay, birthday minute. And now it's time they for the Smacking Bear Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute! Birthday Minute! Happy Birthday! Happy Birthday! Alright, balloon, 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 balloon. Yep, let's let's just say that we don't. Uh, our our uh, uh, budget doesn't uh, allow for two more hats, so we apologize <laughs> for that, ladies. Actually, uh, you know what, guys? Yeah, yeah, Linda, oh, we got. That's the one that just. That's the one that just. Okay. On my All right. I think I'm gonna throw that one away. <laughs> don't that was a goner. We got a lot of birthdays, and we're gonna do two weeks of birthdays. Yeah, we gotta do two weeks we're of birthdays. Be around next week. Right. And uh, we got a couple of uh, celebrity birthdays today. Okay. Actually, it's Go ahead, quite Keith. a busy. Uh, John Lovitz. Remember John Lovitz yeah. from Saturday Night yep. Live? Uh, yeah, that's a ticket. He's been on a yeah. bunch of stuff. Uh, born in 1957. Wow. And uh, Robin Williams. Uh, Robin ah, Williams wow. uh, has been in the news. Uh, uh, there's been mental health stuff in the news the last last yeah. couple of years since he yeah. passed. And uh, so we're thinking about Robin Williams. He was he was pretty. I still remember Mork and Mindy. Yeah. Where did Mindy go? That's <laughs> a, that's another show. Never mind. Uh, he was born in 1951. That's for a different uh, show. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, Michael Richards, uh, Kramer from uh, from Seinfeld, yeah. and he was also on Fridays before that. It was something that it was kind of like a Saturday Night Live thing that did from uh, uh, from Hollywood. Pretty funny. Anyway, okay. he was born in 1948. Wow. Don Knotts, remember wow. Don yeah. Knotts? Uh, Incredible uh, Mr. Yeah. Limpet. Uh, I'll never forget that movie. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. He's been a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Born in 1924. Don Knotts was a f uh, funny guy. Ernest Hemingway. A famous oh, author was born uh, today in 1899. Wow. So, wow. yeah, uh, a bunch of other people too. So it was a pretty popular day to get born. If you weren't born, yeah, go ahead, hop on board. So, <laughs> so what uh, else we got? That's right. Well, well, a little bit more local. Yeah, as far as our friends here today, we have one birthday uh, today. Shall we start with uh, today is the 21st? Is that true? Yes, it is. Yeah. July 21st. Okay. It's Sometimes we get a little mixed up. Okay. So starting today, happy birthday to Peter. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And then tomorrow, we have a we have a bunch tomorrow. We have Sunday the 22nd. We have Ann, Christine, Scott, and Tracy. Happy Ooh, birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Monday the 23rd, Denise and Jay. Happy birthday. Wow, Tuesday the 24th is going to be a, a busy day and has been a busy day, apparently. We have Adam, Ben, Evan, Kathy, Keith, and Kim. Hey, happy birthday, guys. Wednesday the 25th. You all right, Eric? Yeah, I'm losing. I'm losing. Okay. Wednesday the 25th, we have Becky, uh, Bridget, <laughs> and Lisa. Happy oh, birthday. Sorry. Linda, you might need to fill in on the yeah, drums right. there. You need a new drummer. The 26th, we have Dave and Peter. Happy birthday, guys. On Friday the 27th, we have Richard, Steve, 
Tim, and Trish. Yay, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And then we have Jeff, Steven, and Todd on the 28th. Happy birthday, guys. All right, we're going to go into the whole next week, so hold right, on. Let's do it. Hold on, guys. Hold on let's go. Heads. Yay, Woo we have Glenn. I'm sorry, on the Sunday the 29th, we have Glenn, John, Kirsten, Michael, Michael, and Robert. Woo happy birthday. Monday the 30th, we have Chris, Jill, and Julia. Hey. Ooh, happy birthday, everybody. Tuesday the 31st <laughs> is Chris. <laughs> Wednesday the 1st is Dylan and Susan. Hey, Ooh. happy birthday. And Thursday the 2nd, we have Andre, uh, I'm sorry, Andrea, Chris, Donnie, and Lisa. Yay, happy birthday. Ooh. Friday the 3rd, August, we have Ann, Craig, Judy, Liz, and Tom. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, guys, on the 3rd. And Saturday, August 4th, we have Beth, Karen, KJ, Missy, and Tim. Woo! Happy Yay! birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Not you, Joel, but that was a that was that was, that was a lot of work. Exhausted yeah. in here, a little closer there. So uh, right. what well, do we got, Joel? Well, we're not going to be here next week. Not going to be here next week. Vacation. So two weeks. Uh, be sure to stop in. We're going to have some more stuff, yep. more fun. Maybe let, we'll even have another guest. Yeah. Let us know um, where to send our magnet to. Yep. We got some magnets. Where do you want your magnet? And let us know where to send the sticker to. And remember, Stick Brad, show everybody your hat. Uh, yep. Yep. Let us know if you want a hat. Yes. Yeah, these hats are very high quality yep. uh, and they're tested. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you have them, yep, too. Yep. yep. Uh, um, we still haven't gotten the cap thing sorted out yet, but, you know. Right. That, that'll be another few <laughs> years. Yes, it will. We, but uh, that's all right. We're not going anywhere. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know if you want a hat. We, we don't have, uh, we only have one hat left right now, but we will make another batch um, a little bit later. Yeah. Um, so let us know they if might you want be, a hat. We'll put you on They might be prizes. And, and we got stuff. we got a bunch yeah, of things yeah, cooking yeah. in the works. So uh, thanks once again for stopping by. Uh, remember, yeah. Thanks to our guests. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, for, uh, sure. Brad, thank you very much, guys, for stopping by. Yeah. And if you want to be on the show, just let us know. Stop by in the morning. We'll set something up. So remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. We'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye bye. bye. Smack down in the face of